This video demonstrates some of the capabilities of the new coordinate system manager that is available with Trimble Business Center version 3.21. You can launch the new utility from the Trimble Business Center by going to File, Tools, Coordinate System Manager or from the Quick Access toolbar here. You can also launch the utility as a standalone software from the Start page. For the comparison purposes, we can also launch the old Coordinate System Manager utility. Notice that the old Coordinate System Manager utility displays Coordinate System Sites, Datum Transformation, Lipses, and GUID models in a tab view. And in the new utility, we have the more modern uh, tree view for easier navigation and finding your favorite systems. The reason for rewriting the utility was in order to more efficiently support new coordinate systems and providing updates to the utility independently of Trimble Business Center software. Notice that if uh, we expand one of the elements like coordinate systems here and uh, if you look at a group, we can change the view and the appearance here. Also, with the edit, we have the ability to add new groups, coordinate systems, local sites, datum, ellipse, geoid model, as in the old utility view. We just saw how you can uh, switch the appearance of the group, uh, tools, similar as in the old utility. And uh, under help, we have a new help with the newer content that uh, works very similarly to the old utility. And we have the check for updates, which enables us to provide updates to the utility as we have support for more GUIDs or coordinate systems, we can push them through check for updates this way. Adding uh, coordinate systems uh, on a right click, you can add a coordinate system really simply. Notice that we have a, a country folder and we have a system as a subfolder here. Here we can add system properties, so we can choose a name here and uh, choose a, a, a datum name as well as the datum method. Uh, for the projection, you can choose uh, any projection from the list, very similar as in the old coordinate system. Notice that the one new projection here is the snake grid projection. Uh, for all of you that work on a large quarter files, uh, this projection may be very interesting. So if we choose a transverse marketer, if we don't have the correct values or if the values are not acceptable, you will notice that there's exclamation marks preventing you from saving uh, the system. So if we put in a valid information, so if we provide valid information, uh, we will be able to uh, store our system. If you look at the shift grid file, you have the ability to add a shift grid file or a GUID model to your coordinate system. In this case, we'll choose a no model. And notice now in your system, you have the, you can just double click and in order to enter the system and start editing uh, the information. All the custom defined systems are gonna show in blue versus if you're in a predefined coordinate system, those will be in red and it will be a read only field which cannot be edited. Uh, very similar as in the old utility. Also adding a datum, we can just simply switch to the datum file here, right click and say add a new datum, custom datum. Here we can associate a datum for with any ellipsoid, uh, for example a Bessel ellipsoid here, and we can choose a default method for the system. Before we could have a one datum or a multiple datums with multiple system here, we actually allow you to create one datum and assign any, any default method to the datum uh, of your choice. Here we can allow a Molodensky or uh, seven parameters, uh, multiple regression, datum grids, and uh, one new system that you will notice is the broadcast RTCM that is uh, applicable for the German VRS users. Uh, after you uh, choose your system, you can just allow the system and we haven't actually defined it. So for that reason, we will need to uh, uncheck this. We can actually 
specify any parameters here uh, and also in this field and say OK. So for our uh, system, so custom datum, we can open and uh, we can simply change the, the default method and the, default, the current default method is going to be highlighted in a bold text here. So if we change the uh, seven parameter, so if you go to custom datum, notice now the seven parameter is the default system. Same here, if you go back to your uh, coordinate systems and we go to our system, change the datum name to the custom datum that we just created, Notice that the seven parameter is going to be chosen as a, as a method here, and we can also uh, switch it back to the Molodensky as we have defined parameters for that one as well. As you can see, all the functionality that existed in the old coordinate system manager can be found in the new utility as well. That concludes our video on the new coordinate system manager utility available with Trimble Business Center version 3.21.